Hello everybody, I'm GSG and welcome back to this tutorial series and in today's episode we're going to take a look at particles. To get started you need to create a new plugin with a simple command executor that reacts on the command effect just like this. I will upload the code and then you can see how to do that or you watch my video about commands and learn it yourself. So inside the command effect I have as explained in the other tutorial created a check if the sender is a player and then we return it true and what I want to do is I want to create the, the, the command and then I want to give it a argument TP so that it reacts only on that one because we're gonna create multiple we're gonna create a teleportation effect in this episode and then next episode we're gonna create a cube or uh, a line I mean and then ex uh, the episode after that we're gonna create a cube and a circle we're gonna do all kinds of stuff and to get started we need to first check if the arc so length is one because we only want one argument and if that is so we want to check if the first argument because Java always starts counting at zero equals TP just like that and inside of there because we check if it's a player then we won't want to have the player player P equals cast it to player sender just like that and then we want to uh, get a couple of things because for an effect we need uh, the world because we are gonna play it in the world we need an effect type and we need a location and to get the location we're gonna get location I'm gonna call it lock equals p dot get location location that's just the location of the player Ctrl shift O2 and then uh, yeah of course or the bucket always and then what we want to do is we want to play the effect the effect on the world so p dot get world dot play effect play effect play effect sorry then we want to have the first one and then location is gonna be lock the effect the effect is gonna be and the signal in this case and uh, for day for the last just fill in zero it's the data I've changed it a couple of times and I don't see anything changing uh, with the and the signal so you can just keep it at zero and uh, for visibility sake I'm gonna just repeat that four times so that you can also see it inside of the coding uh, inside of here you can use anything you like you can also just use this inside a event handler just n not only in a non command and that's it for the coding part we now created a teleport effect let's go take a look at it in the server see over there so we're inside Minecraft now started up the server and let's go take a look at it okay that's it if I now type in slash effect effect TP I will now see this beautiful teleportation effect let me try that again in F5 mode and that's it for today's episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like. If you want to see more, subscribe. And if you've got any feedback or suggestions, either down below in the comments or join the Discord because it can really help you out on the Discord rather than in the comment sections. And thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.